Well, laser engraving just got a little bit easier and smarter. Finally, a laser that's smart enough to detect what material you're using, set the power for you, set the speed for you, and you're off to the races. I'm talking about the Creality Falcon A1 10 watt laser. And this isn't just another 10 watt laser video. I think this is the beginning of a new era of lasers. With the Creality Falcon A1 10 watt laser on the horizon, getting ready to drop Creality is ramping up for pre-sales. I think its abilities are gonna surprise you and it's a little bit smarter than the rest. Now if it's sleek one of a kind design doesn't sell you, I think the Creality Falcon software will because the Falcon software has just made everything a whole lot easier. It's a game changer, honestly. It's got a super nice updated look and it's full of free files for you to download and get to work as soon as you get your laser. And I think at the end of this video, you'll understand what I'm saying. So let's go. Oh, and guess what? I'm doing another giveaway. So somewhere on the screen, somewhere right up here, you'll see the filament dryer and a free roll of filament. If the single dryer just isn't enough for you or you need a bigger dryer, Ebus has another dryer called the Polyphemus. Now this dryer is a dual filament dryer or it can even handle the three kilogram rolls. It has automatic humidity maintenance where even after you're done drying, it'll maintain a set humidity inside the chamber. And it also rotates the filament to give you an even dry all the way around. And my favorite feature is you can print straight from the dryer because I use that feature all the time. Now it's just like any other dryer, you just pick your filament and you're good to go. It sets the heat for you. It'll also maintain the humidity even after it's done drying. So if you guys want to check out the Polyphemus, check out the link in the description. And big thank you to Ebus for sending out the filament dryer to give away to you guys. That giveaway will be coming up soon, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, that you have notifications set to all, that way you don't miss out whenever I post the giveaway video. So let's get this thing unboxed and set up. Now I gotta give it to Creality, they really did a good job at packing this thing. And getting this thing set up is as simple as really just removing all of this styrofoam and connecting three or four cables and you're pretty much done. And as you can see, it comes standard with air assist. And that little polka dot card right there, that's to calibrate the built-in camera. And I really like the belt chain style that they adopted from the 3D printers that hides all the hoses right here. That looks really, really nice. And here's a quick look at the camera. Now, Creality was even nice enough to put an on-off switch on there for you schizos who are worried about walking by this thing naked with the lid up. Now for the most satisfying part of this whole video. So once you get your machine all set up ready to go you'll want to watch out for these little magnetic points right here because if you get your phone close to them it will trigger a lid open warning on the laser ask me how i know so i started out with black acrylic but the a1 can pretty much cut anything except for thick metals so once i have my design made it literally took me like 30 minutes to laser this thing and get it all put together so YouTube doesn't send out 10,000 subscriber plaques anymore, so with the help of the A1, I went ahead and made my own. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. So whenever I switch from acrylic over to wood, because the machine can automatically detect your material, it made switching a breeze. All I had to do was insert my wood and then it adjusts the power and speed for me. I don't have to do any of that. This precision engraved box took about 15 minutes to cut and assemble. Now just like any other diode laser, the A1 is going to have its limitations. You're not going to be able to do thick metals and you're not going to be able to mess with clear plastic without altering them. But I think what sets the A1 apart from all the rest of the 10 watt lasers is its smart camera, the ability to detect materials and its auto settings in the software. That's a game changer. That makes laser printing so much easier for everyone. Now talking about the software, let's dive into the software real quick because I know you're going to love the software. This stuff is game changer, honestly. Once you get the software beta download, you're going to go ahead and come in here and find your laser. Now, if you already have the A1, then you'll just select A1. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do that. I'll go right back up here to Canvas. And now this is basically your workplace right here. It's just kind of like Lightburn, except more modern and a lot easier to use if you ask me. So right over here on the right side, you have all of your materials. And if you want to manually select something, you could just come over here and pick from all the materials they have. They have plank, which is wood and paper, all different types of scratch paper, coloring paper, I mean, glitter paper, everything. 
Now metals, they have aluminum oxide and stainless steel, which that's typically what you'd use uh, with the laser. And they have uh, different types of leather, uh, round coaster leather and acrylics, all different kinds of colors of acrylics. This brand badge is like little name plates, like dog tags and stuff like that. And other over here and other, they have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff like aluminum business cards, stainless steel dog tags, uh, key plates, cell phone holders, photo frame. I mean, they pretty much have it all in here. And all of these, when you when you choose this right here, it's going to go ahead and set your parameters for you. So if you go up here to the top right here where it says smart fill, that is pretty much like auto batch fill. So if you click on smart fill right there, if you had an image in here and then you click uh, smart fill, then it's basically just gonna auto populate the whole page so you can batch engrave stuff. Over here where it says layers in the top right, this is where you can pretty much control line fill. If you're gonna cut your power, your speed, all that stuff is where you can control it manually if you need to. And down below that, that's where you'll choose your camera. As you can see, it's picking up my computer cameras and stuff, but you'll select the Creality Falcon camera and then you'll be good. Now down here, this is where you connect the laser. You just simply hit connect and look, look how fast that connected. And now if you go back up here at the top, now you'll see camera and it shows calibrated now because before it was showing uncalibrated, but it was just because it wasn't connected. Import stuff, you'll just go right here on the left hand side right here and hit import and then you can bring in whatever image that you want it has a trace photo feature so basically what you'll do is you'll click trace photo right over here on the right side by where it says photo and it'll trace the image and outline it for you let's say you didn't want to do the whole image you just wanted an outline of it it'll automatically trace it for you as you can see whenever i connected the laser it was automatically on basswood because that's what it sees inside the laser but if you want to manually select your materials, then you can always go here and do that. And it'll automatically set your parameters, your speed, your power, everything for you. Now, this is a really quick rundown on all the features of this Falcon software. Now, let me show you something that I think is really cool. So I clicked home right there and now it took me right here to the home page and Creality has all of this stuff already in here. I mean, there is so much stuff to choose from to get you started. If you're just now getting into lasering and you have no idea where to start, like I was when I first got a laser, like I didn't know where to go get stuff at. And Lightburn does not have any of this. And Lightburn is a paid software. You will get a free trial, but after that it's 60 bucks. And this one is free. And let's say you wanted to choose one of these little models right here. You simply click on it. Now you have a few options here. Now you can download this and do whatever you want to or you can just hit make it and then it's gonna bring it into the software for you. Now, as you can see, it brought it in here for me. Now, all I would have to do is size it down and get it to a workable space. Uh, obviously, the wood I have in there is not ready for this, but you can see exactly what it's gonna do for you here. Now, you can grab these little uh, corner squares right here and you can pull them in just like any other thing and you can, and you can size your, your print down just like that. Or you can go up here to the top right here and then you can mess with your size right here as well. And then right here at the size, right here at the top, if you click on this, that's gonna lock it and link it together. So if you change one thing, the other, the other thing will change like in sequence with whatever you changed. Now, one thing that was really confusing for me when I first got this was where's the home button at? Like, how do I home my laser? How do I move it? And you would think it would be up here in console or some maybe in layers, but it's not. If you go down here to frame and you click on this little drop down right here, this is your home button right here. So if you hit that, your laser is going to move and go home. And then right here, you can go in there and you can uh, select like I have my laser on and I have it at five, which it could be lower, but whatever. I have it at five. And that's so whenever it's framing, the laser is on and I can see exactly where it's framing because the laser is shooting out and it's showing me so I don't have to guess where it's actually going to be cutting at. So that's a plus right there. Now, another cool thing about the Falcon software, if you go right up here in the top right corner right here where my mouse is, if you click settings up there, it's going to give you this. Now you have hotkeys that you can set as to whatever you want them to do. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then right here, default startup page 
I have mine set to canvas because I don't really use the pre-made models very much. So I want to go straight to canvas. I don't want to go to the home page and then have to click canvas every single time. So with the Falcon software, you can go ahead and change that in the settings. You have auto snapping and continuous drawing. So what does continuous drawing do? That's basically like when you're drawing something with the mouse here, after you're done, it doesn't revert back to uh, whatever you were doing before it stays in the drawing mode so that helps trust me whenever you draw little small things over and over if you have to re-click uh, draw every time that that gets very annoying so that is a big plus to have and then of course here you can change millimeters inches the language and all of that stuff uh, under cut control you have the option to turn on your console uh, now if you're going to do uh, cups or anything like that if you plan on doing cups you'll need to activate the the rotation and that's going to go ahead and give you access to the rotary add-on right there so as you can see right here when i turn on the rotation it actually gives me uh some parameters right here that i need to fill in and that's probably yeah it's going to be the diameter of the cup and and your perimeter and all that stuff so yeah so don't have that on unless you are using your rotary tool and then here for beginners, you have operation guide. You can turn this off and on at will. This will give you like a step-by-step -step on, on how this software works, kind of like a guide. And uh, you know, that might be good for first timers that are kind of confused like I was, like I could not find the home button. I literally had to email Creality and ask them, hey, where's the home button? And here you can also change your grid color. I have mine on dark gray so I can see it a little better. It comes factory on light gray. so. Uh, you can change it to black, dark gray, no grid, however you want to do it. Now let's talk price. The regular price is $549, but they have a pre-order price at $499, and I have a $30 discount code for you guys. And that's on top of the pre-order sale price. With the discount code, that puts your price at $469, but that's only until March the 20th for you guys. Now my overview on this laser is, it just made laser engraving a whole lot easier especially for beginners so if you've never lasered anything in your life with the a1 i feel like with the software and the smart camera that you'd be able to just grab a file from the laser software bring it in and go ahead and hit print and have something tangible that you can work with on day one without a bunch of headaches and there's no need to configure the laser there's no need to set parameters settings none of that you're simply going to select which laser you have in the falcon software and it does the rest for you now that's not the case with other lasers other lasers once you get the laser set up and plugged into your computer then you have to go in there and set a whole bunch of parameters to tell that laser how strong it is and and where it can move to and i mean there's all different little settings that you have to mess with with the falcon software you're not having to do any of that it's already preset and you just basically select which laser you have and then you're off to the races that's it so that's the creality falcon a1 10 watt laser